Hi everyone. We're going to get into the real power of Photoshop with this next unit and that is using layers to help us edit things. We can do a lot more complex pictures if we use layers. However, they can be very confusing. So we're going to take it slow. We're going to play around with it a little bit before we um, actually make a project. So let's get into it. Here is the image that I've taken off my camera and I've unlocked the layers you can see and I have cleaned up my scan a little bit. I still have some haze. Oh, I should say this. This lesson is designed to work with CS3, not CS6. So if you have CS6 open, close it down and open 3, CS3. As you can see, I have two layers here, but it's really hard to see what's on the layer. So I'm gonna click on these three little lines, or these little lines right here, and choose panel options. That way you can see bigger pictures. I'm clicking on this. Bigger pictures of what's on the layer. Oh there, that's a little bit clearer. Now what I want to do is add a new layer that I'm going to paint above. I didn't say on, I'm going to paint above. So I'm going to come over here. There's a little post-it here that lets me add a new layer. I could also go up to layer and do new layer. But I like to use the little post-it. But I want this layer to be on top of the things that I've drawn. So I'm going to drag it up. Well, look at that. You can drag them and you can recycle, um, reorder them. In fact, here I'm going to put the white one on top. I'm going to put the white one at the bottom. Put this one on top. You won't see any change because this one is transparent. Anytime you see a checkerboard, it means it's nothing on the layer. So let's put something on the layer. So let's get that one on top. I'm going to go down on this layer because this is the layer I want to take a copy from. It has to be blue. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make like a copy of this eye. Edit, copy. Now on this layer, before I start painting, I'm going to take the paint bucket and deselect and fill it with white. Now if I go up to edit and do my paste, I have an eye, see a little bit of the eye right there, that is sitting on this layer and I can move it around and I can stretch it out and make it bigger. I can even take my move, oop, I gotta apply, remember that. I can even take into that option drag and get another eye. Now I could flip it like this, but it's hard to get it to be the same size. So I'm gonna do edit, transform, flip, so I know that it's exactly the same size as the first one. And I'm gonna use my arrow keys to set them up. Now, over here I can hide, oop, click on the move tool, say apply. And you can see now I have an eye here. I have an eye on this layer. I can click on this layer, move this eye around, and I could turn them both off if I want to. If I turn them both on and I turn these off, I'm just clicking and dragging. You can see what's on these two layers. And we love that they're on separate layers because we can always edit them. So let's do some more. I'm gonna turn these all off and turn this one on and make it active by making it blue. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take and select. Oh, see, we have eyes. I think we need to have a nose. Let's take the freckled one. And I'm going to do edit, copy. And I'm going to deselect, command D. Turn this on so I can see it. This one and this one. Make this one blue because when I do my paste, I want it to be on the top layer. And every time you paste, get it on the top layer. Oh, it came in with that yellow. So I'm going to do adjustments, levels, and I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Pick up my move tool and I can place that nose where I want it. Oh yeah. Stretch it out, make it as big as I want. Now if I move it up too high, it's going to cover up the eyes, but I don't care because I can apply and take my marquee tool and cut it out without cutting out the eyes. Why? Because it's on a separate layer. Whatever I do on this layer doesn't affect any other layer. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm going to stop this video right here, and we'll get into something else with the next one. Okay, catch up with me. Bye-bye.